Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel here. A Twitter recap is exactly what we need before I go to bed. And uh, yeah, let's see what is happening on Twitter from a technical analysis point of view only, more or less. Uh, 15 charts I have and um, from some great guys. And I think you should follow these guys. They bring me a lot of value and uh, learning a lot from these guys. Um, so yeah, as always, like, subscribe, do your thing. And let's get straight into business, really. It's actually, I want to do these a lot more often just to get a bit, just to make sure that the charts doesn't get too outdated. You can see this is only one day old. This is Rashad here. Senior gold miner at the GDX is setting up for a break after nearly 3.5 years consolidation within uh, descending broadening wedge formation. Previously similar consolidation in 2016 and 20 resulted in roughly a 100% move uh, after the breakout, respectively, if GDX breaks out in January 2024, I assume that 100% gain could take it towards the all-time high by June 2024. So what he's pointing to, you know, you can see the downtrend and then we're starting to get these bullish formations across. And now we have this, this expanding uh, formation right there. And, uh, and yeah, a break here at roughly what he has roughly 31 definitely will cause a breakout here. Maybe it is a tad higher, doesn't matter, but still I think the gold miners looks fantastic, especially if you look at the, the GDXJ, which is a lot closer to a major breakout. And uh, and yeah, maybe the angle is a bit too steep, but again, you can see how, how fast it can go. But I wouldn't expect it to go this fast, maybe a half a year later, but anyways, it's still a it's still an impressive move. And I, I, I like this constructive setup here that Rashad has been pointing out. Stefano, again, Sil J, Silver. The scenario is favorable for a move upward, uh, an upward move, which could be similar to the previous two. Stay ready. So this is Sil J. You know, you can clearly see the blue trend lines. And when they break, they break with vengeance. Yes, we have the COVID shenanigans here. But again, if we have that move once again, you know, it will be violent. It will be all the way up to the highs there. That is my conviction. And, uh, and yeah, Silte is also looking really, really good here. You can also see, you know, these two lower lows right there, which is making the divergence on the RSI. I think it's RSI, I would assume it is, yeah. So definitely, this is one to look for. When it breaks, it will take no prisoners, as you can see. It's straight up, more or less, and this is also not as fast, but, but still a pretty steep angle. Triangle investor here. Um, it's a long test, but basically what he's saying is that, you know, Denison Mines in 2006 also went sideways for like a year. Well, uh, nine months or so while the spot price went up. But at some point in time, it couldn't, you know, withstand, you know, this higher spot price. And boom, it actually increased quite heavily afterwards. And if you may or may not know, this is exactly what we're seeing again today. Spot price is coming up very steeply. The miners is a bit muted. I just, I just did the uranium recap for the Australian miners, Bannerman, Boss Energy, and I think it is deep yellow. It looks very explosive. So overall, I think this one here could actually play out once again. So a nice take here. Um, again, looking back in history to see if we had any similarities, and we we definitely did. You know, stock price up uh, roughly 50%, while Denison Mines is down 16 and And then it went crazy afterwards just to play play catch up here nice nice little uh history or oh, memory from from the past bar chart here dow jones industrial average industrial has just had its seventh consecutive green week it's the longest winning streak since february uh, 2019 and gareth soloway actually says that you know if you have seven the count of seven is often when you start to see you know red bars coming across so i would expect this move start to to uh, to make some 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 red candles and uh, but yeah amazing right we are above the all-time highs and uh that is just a lot of momentum here a lot of momentum and again if we have a pause i think it will be only to consolidate and then to to break higher for a big big move to the upside um in 2024 only to probably collapse uh like crazy you know in, in the later 2024s However, just to show you that it's just a, an amazing short term here. And if you have sideways action, you have a flag, a pole, and then a flag. Um, definitely massive, massive, massive. 
I, I didn't expect that, to be honest. Hidden pivots, Tesla, the daily. I also had this one here. We have you have an upper you have an upper trend line coming down here. I think it actually goes a bit further back. I think it goes back like two or three years. Uh, I I don't know what Tesla did today, but you can see here it is above this cluster of candles and above the moving averages. You have crossovers on some of the in indicators. It is pointing to that it should be break uh, breaking out very soon. Also, so Tesla will join the other big 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 companies that has done very very well. Uh, Tavi Costa here. Uh, this might be one of the cleanest technical breakouts I've seen in a long time. I agree. Look at it. It's beautiful. Um, Brazilian equities are reviving from the deeply distressed valuation, standing out as one of the few segments of the market that is remain generally undervalued with a strong macro case propelled by the country's rich res uh, resource, rich uh, economy. Again, we are in a commodities bull market, and obviously the countries with a lot of commodities like Brazil, oil, uh, metals, and so on, they tend to strive when we have such a a, a metals a, a commodities bull market and this is a clean breakout you also have the breakout on the log scale a bit different but still you have the breakout and uh, yeah um this is just beautiful you can see that you can sit in this for a long time if you want to it pays a nice dividend as well i think eight uh, percent but definitely emerging markets beautiful 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 and i have also been covering this for the past what is it, half a year, give or take, maybe maybe even one year, I don't know. For a long time, I'll, at least. Uh, uranium, <laughs> sort of, uh, divided by URNM. So here he has the Sprout Physical Uranium Trust divided by the URNM. You can see here the rising. Uh, it is kind of a wedge, but I wouldn't still call it some sort of channel here again. I think these, these are drawn quite quickly. Um, but anyway, we are having, in my view, some sort of final move here. And I think actually we could see that the miners will play catch up. Um, we're definitely very close to the lows if you look at the URNM divided by the uranium spot price. Um, that is that is for sure. Great here again. Uh, so this is silver in world currency units. And uh, have used uh, the world currency units in charting for many years as it shows the collective fiat picture. So an overall, not just the um, the dollar. So not just in the dollar, but the overall uh, so this is more like a basket of silver emission against different currencies. And you can see here how close we are to something major. This is the quarterly candles. And um, and there you can also see this is a 12-year invert head and shoulders in the making. The neckline of the quarterly closes is right there and we are breaking out. So overall, silver on a, on a quarterly closing basis is breaking out. And again, this is a broader basket, but this, this just means that Overall, silver is going up in a broad basket of, of currencies. Beautiful. Again, silver above 26 in my book confirms silver and its breakout, and it should be very, very violent to the upside. Grady again here. Palladian has had an enormous 40-year parabolic base in the making. Another 21x move while going parabolic looks very likely. 21, maybe, but the huge bullish reversal candle back testing its support. The commodities bull is uh, is a get out of the rat race opportunity. Yes, it is. I agree, but definitely look at it here. Uh, it came. It, it it has come down roughly. I think seventy percent or so. Huge move down, and uh, and yeah, mega quarterly um, uh, hammer right there. And again, you can see after the big the big pullbacks, you know, comes the big moves. And uh, maybe we're going for that path. I do not know, um, but definitely palladium here. If you look at it. On a monthly basis or weekly, you can zoom in and see that I think we are very close to confirming a weekly, monthly bottom here, uh, at least weekly for Palladium after it has been in the in the dirt for like two years or so. North Star, Uranium. Uh, were you a believer in the technical analysis when I issued this forecast over three years ago? Or you believe it now, it's all about probabilities. I agree, it's all about probabilities and risk reward. Um, so yeah, this is the Global X ETF. So this is URA. And a major downtrend here, sideways action. And now we're in a bullish stage two uptrend climbing. Um, the inside of the arc here, you can see it there. And uh, again, we bounced here after that breakout here, which we also covered uh, with a different 
technical view, but basically the same. And now we're coming coming higher again. Uh, you can see here at roughly 31.32, we actually have a big level to get past. Also, that is the 2021 high. And I think when we get above, it is only a matter of time before we actually get up, up to here for uranium miners. Uh, if it fails here, you can see he has added in an outer, which also have the COVID lows. And then there is some support here, you know, 20% um, uh, lower or something like that. But that should be an overall uh, drop in, in equities if that happens. <clears throat> but definitely big look, big, lovely looking uh, cup right there. Borak, my good man Borak, Tesla, some shorter term half year breakout here. Again, this is the trend line that, that I mentioned. You can see it right there coming across, going back to 2021. That is the big one to look, uh, look for. Um, but definitely this is an early green bull flag within a bl uh, blue uptrend. You can see the connections. You, all, you almost have four. It didn't quite touch here, but definitely to me, um, I think we're pointing to a move into that close to that red resistance, and then we will see what happens. But definitely Tesla looks like it wants to join the party. Again, I, I don't know what it did today, but uh, I think overall tech was up, so I, I would assume that Tesla is also up. China stocks, <clears throat> uh, stock market is at a major level. This support line dates back to 2006. You can see it there, 2006. You have interactions, one, two, three, almost four, five, and then six, right? So at least four complete touches indicating that it could be a make or break level for China stocks. And uh, yeah, one trend line really says it all, keeping it simple. And yeah, we want to hold here some shorter term, double bottom that needs to hold, otherwise we will break down in the China stock market. Uh, definitely want to follow here the Shanghai Composite CFI 300. Last but not least, I just want to show you Axel here again with his uh, si this uh, horizontal channels that he's very good at identifying. This is now on XLB. So again, waiting for that breakout above, and then you have a measured move with the size of that channel to the upside. Again, he's really good at finding these sideways action channels. And um, that's definitely also something that I'm trying to look for more and more. Very powerful. Again, this is the uh, XLB. So uh, let's see which way it goes. However, we are testing it uh, last week. We tested it and... Uh, the upper trend line. Um, so yeah, definitely also. Yep, that was all I had for today. As always, follow these guys. They bring a lot of value to me. Guys, have a great one. Give a comment below if you have, if you agree or disagree with the charting done by these uh, by these guys. Have a great one. Sleep tight. Cheers. Bye.